long for leaders in Texas to point to our own border with Mexico as a potential threat to our own security. This week, KXAN's Phil Prazen spoke with the U.S. House and Homeland Security Committee Chairman Michael McCall about national security and a candid look at the race for president. Well, I think uh, the Europeans have to change their policies. They're sort of in a pre-9-11 uh, state, if you will. Uh, we have been working with them to change some of their laws, for instance, with respect to intelligence sharing, data sharing, uh, uh, screening. The mastermind of the Paris attacker said that he came in with 90 other foreign fighters. So this is really a fighter phenomenon. What else can we do as a, a policy-wise to fight this? Well, in my committee, we just passed uh, uh, several pieces of legislation. I had a task force a report that came out after I traveled to Paris and Belgium and Turkey prior to the Paris attacks and so we had the benefit of, of studying this issue of screening foreign fighters of tightening up uh, security standards at uh, airports at last points of destination before they can travel into the United States so we uh, think this recently passed legislation will help um, the, you know, the president uh, and the executive branch in terms of working with foreign governments to not only protect uh, Europe but also the homeland from these foreign fighters uh, coming in the United States. You have people who say terrorist attacks like Brussels could happen any time, any place. You have people that say, you know, but statistically, you're more likely to get eaten by a shark. Are, are they both right? Yeah, I think to some extent um, they are, but, but the threat level is the highest I've seen since 9-11 uh, for many reasons. One is because of the total number of foreign fighters. Again, 40,000 is a pretty large number from 120 different countries that are trained militants that can uh, come into the United States. And I think, again, this has not Bin Laden, uh, Kays and Courier Communications. These are now a new generation of terrorists that are very sophisticated on the Internet. Is that why you know, cybersecurity is so important to you is because these Brussels styles attack and cybersecurity, they're linked at the same problem? Yeah, I think cyber is uh, the cutting edge of this and the terrorists now have learn to exploit um, encryption to their benefit now. And so uh, that, that's why I proposed with Senator Mark Warner this National Commission 9-11 style commission idea to get all the stakeholders together to form a national consensus to advise Congress on how to move forward. And with this country in a heated president, I asked the chairman if the fear generated on the campaign trail is justified. Well, I've said for quite some time that national security and foreign policy were going to be probably the most important issues going into the 2016 uh, election. I, I will say uh, uh, the, the candidates, at least on my side, don't seem to have a whole lot of background experience in that, and I think it's going to be important that they have uh, advisors who can help guide them uh, in this very, very important issue because I do think when it comes to voters, um, you ask them if they feel uh, safe today, I think majority, they feel like they're not safe. Um, and they want um, their government to protect them from this terrorist threat that has not decreased but has increased.